Gaethje Holloway fight, one of the greatest knockouts in UFC history. For me, with my opinion, that has to be number one. I didn't notice it firsthand, but looking back, that's pretty dang smooth. How do you feel about your performance? Well, I watched it back and... Better already has the craziest, craziest multipliers in the industry, and we're taking it up a level. We're taking it up. It's going to be insane. 1,000x multipliers. You heard me right. 1,000x. All you got to do is add four boosts to your lineup. Not even that many. Four boosts to your lineup and, uh, you know, get ready to win big. Better has the UFC, so you can already lock me in there as a boost. We got the NBA, the NFL, the NHL, the MLB. They're all live in the app. Go download Better. Use code BO. 1,000x. Win you some money. All right, let's just get into it. <clears throat> what you trying to get into? Well, we have to talk about the most important topic of this entire podcast is how much tanner I am than Tony right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you two were, like, coming out, like, progressively throughout the trip. Like, you're getting, you're getting really red, man. I think you started to burn. <laughs> we were both going at you. You Look did at get me red. Now. Look at me now. <laughs> You're a golden god. <laughs> well, <laughs> golden is an interesting way of putting it. <laughs> but I feel pretty golden. The Vegas sun was freaking nice. It was dude. nice sun. Yeah, so it was nice. Good. It was good. It's nice back here too. Yeah. It's nice to come back and it not be like too different. Yeah. Like a dreary ice wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah been awful coming back in like the middle of december ah uh, yeah you never you never enjoy that but yeah we're all good yeah nice weather in state college nice weather in state college great time in vegas yeah, where do you want to start it's all right i don't know it's chill nothing like unusual Let's start at the very beginning <laughs> all right so Suddenly, it was freshman year <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i was born <laughs> um how do you feel like with the Airbnb and everything? Like, how do you think the week went overall? You know, um, I think it went well. You're in my face a little too mo- too much. Like, <laughs> get on my face, bro. Always are. Yeah, yeah. No, I was good. That was good. Have the the boys together, hang out, you know, do our thing, and then I do my thing, and then we all eat in and out, and chill with Chris Pratt. So. <laughs> That yeah, I got a lot of comments on the picture that I posted, and they were like, "Wow, Chris Pratt's so tall." And I'm like, "Are you just calling me short? Like, how are we doing this?" Yeah, like, yeah, he's actually not that tall. I'm just tiny. Well, I didn't have shoes on. I didn't oh. have shoes on, so that was the reason that he looked so much right. significantly taller got than, it, got than it, myself. Got it, got but yeah, I was I was checking up on on our boy Chris. I was like, "This dude was mad cool. Like, I wanted like see what he's doing." I clicked on his Instagram. I was like. He has 50 million followers. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, like whoa. Like, yeah. You're like, holy I'm not bananas. That vibe from him. 50 million followers. <laughs> like, I really should have took that picture with him. No, I did take a picture with you. <laughs> you didn't get one with You him? did, you did, but it, yeah. But, you, but with, with him and Chris? Yeah, it was more like a casual, like, we were actually like picture. mirroring each other. Oh, yeah. We had the same stance. That's good. But, uh, yeah, he's he's uh, pretty famous. <laughs> he's definitely the most famous person that, well, outside of Donald Trump, he's the most famous person that uh, we've met. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. No, it's, it's cool finally meeting Jocko, too. You never met Jocko? No. Bro, Jocko's a, a legend. Yeah, he. Uh, yeah, he's the best. Jocko's one of those people, if you don't conversate with him, like if you don't start a conversation, he won't start a conversation with you. I said hi. He goes, call your mom. Like it. <laughs> Should have filmed that. Thanks. That promo. was the conversation. That would have been that would have been good promo. Yeah, bro. Um, when when I mean when you've taken that many lives, there's really not much well, small <laughs> talk. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, but he's the best. Yeah, yeah. he's a great. I, I love um everybody involved with Jocko. Obviously Jocko, Joe, Chris. There there's too many names I could name, but those guys are all awesome. Yeah. That was right. Yeah. Um how how is the point of view from your standpoint, Anthony, about the the fight week and you know the corner? I know eighty well, percent of fight week. Tony just sits in his room, so it's really. <laughs> no, I was better about it this trip. Nah, you are, you are. But good. it's really eighty percent that and twenty percent just 
getting completely beat up and yeah it's not fun so for the most part it's quite terrible no, <laughs> <laughs> no fight weeks are awesome it's like it's like a vacay mixed with uh a cherry on top of the end so it's yeah. it's always fun and uh yeah it's just like all the boys are there we get to train at night and play games and chill the rest of the time and then after he fights it's like vacay starts so it's like a wide pretty much all the emotions you can feel yeah throughout the week and uh then i get to just see firsthand like the warm-up the walk out the fight feel all the emotions and have zero control over them <laughs> and uh so that's fun yeah and then like the second literally the second fight and the fight ends i'm just like oh and then it all hits me and i like get so tired so tired and i'm just like walking around waiting for the interviews to be over and just waiting to get to the press conference so I can eat all the food that they make. Yes. They and always have the same stuff, too. Yeah. It's always yeah, it's beef like Wellington. little beef Wellington balls and yeah. spring rolls and chicken. Yeah. Um, but, uh, no, it's it's they're, they're probably some of my best memories. They're just freaking fun. And seeing your boy go out and do what he does, it's, it's uh, there's nothing better. I'd have to agree with that. Yeah. It's a whirlwind, man. It goes so fast. Yeah. Doesn't feel like uh, it was already a couple days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes quick. Yeah, um, it does. Yeah, I feel like I feel like it went. You know, it went well. Um, there's always you know things that maybe come, maybe you weren't weren't expecting that happen or whatever it is. Or you know, weight cuts always different every single time, and you know it's just a lot to manage. Um, but I think that for me, having everybody there, you guys and all the, you know, Moose, Barboza, Coach Mike, and all of our boys, it's like that makes it for me like so much better because I don't, I don't know, that stuff just doesn't like phase me nearly as much. Mm-hmm. I think if you're alone and like for me at least like I start thinking about like th- something, maybe it didn't go the way I wanted it to or whatever, and then it's easy to dwell on it. But when you do something and then you're just like, then you're with your bros and, your people and then you're like i don't really care <laughs> yeah and you do a really good job of making everybody forget why we're there it's like <laughs> <laughs> like it's not until uh saturday that everyone's like, oh, like, oh frick yeah we still, have to, we still have to do this yeah. yeah well i don't really think about it i'm for me i think about it enough as is my mind's always going yeah. so if i just sit there then it's not good yeah but if i'm just doing other things I have to preoccupy myself almost, yeah. you know, with whatever it is. Uh, otherwise, I'll just be like, it's just too much. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. After the fight, you know, you, you you said some things about how you weren't too happy with your performance. And then in a couple of interviews after, you said as time goes on, you'll be more grateful for it. How do you feel? It's currently the Tuesday after the fight. How do you feel about your performance now compared to then? Well, I watched it back and... It definitely wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Like, I, in my mind, I pictured it a lot worse. Um, and I, you know, I still made mistakes and did some things that uh, I would want to change and do differently. But I also did a lot of good things. So I think that um, the thing that I'm most appreciative of is just getting that experience and feeling what it's like to actually fight a little bit. I mean, my longest fight up to this point was two minutes. And so got to almost quadruple that um with this fight and uh yeah i feel i feel pretty good about it um i definitely feel motivated and excited to get back in there and um you know continue to fight better guys and just just keep you know keep climbing and keep doing my thing um but then i think you know and i kind of alluded to this earlier but my favorite part of fight week is just having everybody there Mm -hmm. and that that's always so fun and just such a cool thing um if it was just me you know and I win, and it, like that wouldn't really be like that great. But then to have everybody kind of come in and feel that love and support, I want to do that. You know, I want to keep doing that and keep feeling that, and it just it makes it that much better. Um, but yeah, you know, overall, as far as like specific to my performance, I think you know, with that, there are definitely things that I still feel critical of, and I still want to adjust and change and get better at. But I also feel like you know, it was the way the fight that went down was what was best for me and 
it's a, you know, I, I wasn't that even really mad that the fight went as long as it was. It was more just the sloppiness. So just you now there's things to clean up and that's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I will say, if you think the fight was a little bit sloppy, you killed the mic after, which was not surprising to me, but I think you said one of the coldest lines I've ever heard. You're all going to love me. I guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I was kind of, uh, it was, you know, of course, I don't, I, I don't know how it was really going out. Um, like, actually, in the fight, it felt very positive. I felt a lot of cheers, a lot of support. Um, where I felt like I got a little bit of hate and some booze was, like, surprisingly at uh, the press conference was the most, which was weird to me. I don't, I don't, I didn't really yeah. get that. Um, but, yeah, for me, you know, I think that I'll just continue to build my reputation and I'm never going to have every single person love me, but I think that the people that are hardcore MMA fans, the more I fight, the more they get to know me, the more they'll like me. And that's just the way that it is. You know, I, I think that that's kind of how it was for wrestling. Of course, you know, as a college athlete, you're wrestling for a team. And so you automatically have the support of that entire team and group. But I think that I kind of was able to, garner support and at minimum just a lot of respect from fans of even like our rivals even iowa oklahoma state ohio state fans of these schools were you know even if they didn't love me they at least like respected me and i think that i'll garner that from mma fans um as they get to know me and uh yeah it's all good you know i think that uh as time continues and moves on that it'll work out the way it's supposed to so yeah that was kind of a i was just just trolling a little bit mm-hmm. biggest troll of the night I, I don't know who it was it was either no it had to be alex Pereira. oh as far as biggest trolls yeah he trolled the hell out of jamal that was one of the coldest moves i've ever seen i don't know about that <laughs> dude it was a tr- good troll <laughs> nut shot pause herb dean get the hell out of the way <laughs> one two poof, jamal hill on his back yeah, staring was, at the ceiling. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. I mean, the dude definitely hits super hard. Um, yeah, I feel like you don't you don't want to get hit by that guy. Left hook, it's like, mm-hmm. see ya. Yeah, the card was sick, up and down, so good. It really, it really performed. Somebody said this to me, um, just kind of randomly. They were like, "Dude, how come all the cards you've been on have been just absolutely insane?" Yeah, I'm like that's. And I thought about, it, I was like, "That's actually true." Mm-hmm. Two eighty five. Um, was John Jones' uh, debut, or excuse me, John Jones coming back, my debut, and then like a bunch of sick fights in between. And then 290 had, I think it was like tied for the most finishes in UFC history on a card. Yeah. It was like 11 finishes or something crazy. And then uh, obviously the main event was Volk Yair. And then you had Moreno and uh, Pantoja as well. Excuse me. Wow. You had a bunch of sick fights. And then um, I was, and then I, now 300. I've been on three, like, legendary cards it's yeah. been wild they've yeah. all delivered and that's not really typical you see a lot of cards come out and then they just kind of flop uh-huh. but every single card i've been on is delivered yeah i mean the gaethje holloway fight ended in what might end up being one of the greatest knockouts in ufc history yeah for sure like if it's not number one it's top top three yeah. at, at least you know and for me with my opinion and it's still you know Sometimes recency bias is a thing, but that has to be number one, like, to me. Dude. Yeah. Insane. <laughs> just the just way that like it went rubbing. down was the craziest Coach thing. Coach Mike's arms so hard when that happened. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was f- ridiculous. And the, the craziest thing is, like, literally so possible that was Max on the floor. It could have been. And he easily. was winning the entire fight. Yeah. It was 50-50. Yeah. Basically. He just was like, all right, let's start out. Yeah. 50. Yeah. But he got 600K for it, so it, it might have been worth it. I guess. Yeah, I don't know how much he's making um, outside of that, but yeah. I would assume that was probably a big, a <laughs> decent bump. Yeah. Yeah. Like a decent bonus to be like, oh, I wasn't expecting this. 600 Yeah, like if he's making like, <laughs> like let's say he's making 2 million even. That's like over 25% bonus. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty wild. Yeah, well, and, he, and he was a big part of the 300K bonus, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, massive part of it. Yeah, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gaethje also, he was winning. Like, Holloway was winning that entire fight. But Gaethje put on a decent performance. Yeah, like, he I had, thought he fought yeah. really well. He fought well. He had some moments. 
Hard leg kicks. Yeah. yeah. Mac, Max just obviously had more moments and better cardio and just a little sharper striking. Yeah, it was it was an insane fight, though. And two weeks from now, the only thing anyone's ever going to remember is that knockout, which sucks. Probably. Because Gaethje yeah. did fight, fight well. Yeah, yeah. No, I think um, Max, one thing that I thought was interesting was he went back to, like, his old mode of training. Like sparring super hard and stuff like that. Looked way better. And he looked way better. Yeah. He was like, I don't need to spar for fights. And then he was kind of like, uh. Yeah. Then he just sparred hard as hell and like yeah. put his best performance out of his entire career. Dude, that promo video was nuts that they had him in. It was like him knocking out his training partners. I yeah, was oh, like, yeah, was oh my God. I was like, geez. Dude. Some poor Hawaiian dude. <laughs> yeah. Some, some dudes just off the street. He's yeah. like, they didn't fight me. And they're like, I'm Hawaiian. I'll fight. <laughs> Um, and his call out was great. Oh yeah, Ilya. No, that's gonna be a sick fight. It's gonna that's be a, a banger. Fight. Yeah, Ilya ain't ain't one of these other dudes though. Like, he ain't gonna swing for the fences. Yeah. Like, uh, he's gonna freaking dude hits so much harder than anybody's fought, and is r- way better wrestling. Yeah, that's a crazy fight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. And he has good cardio. That's gonna be crazy. Max down at forty five is is probably gonna be different though. That's uh, oh yeah yeah ten more pounds. So we'll see. He looked great at fifty five body looked, wise. Looked and he's so tall too. I don't know how he he's makes like five pounds. eleven six foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's big, big fifty fiver. We were walking past him in the pi. I would have never thought he would be that tall. Super tall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the only other thing that I wanted to talk about on the card is Armin. Yeah, that was great, man. Oh, yeah. Awesome performance. I, I didn't really get to see much of it because I was doing the post-fight yeah. interviews. But I got to see a few. Just really, the only stuff I got to see was him uh, getting out of submissions. <laughs> I was like, oh, my gosh, this is crazy. I thought he yeah. was done. He was 2-0 that night, too. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Who was 2-0? Arwan. Oh, 2-0. <laughs> yeah, bro. 2-0 against Brazil. <laughs> Bro, we have to watch that fight back because he got out of oh my so gosh. many deep, deep submissions. So tight, bro. Yeah, it was crazy. I don't know how he did it, but I don't either. To the guillotine in the first round, I thought like so tight. Well, he he even said that he was close. Yeah, like they were really tight. Uh, yeah, he was submission. Right he was just gonna go out. Like yeah, he was like all right, I'm either like getting out of this or I'm gonna go out. Yeah. Well, Barbosa was working with him, uh, on, on that with him right before. Yeah. <laughs> it was like Wednesday. Like yeah, like yeah. in the like in the pi and stuff. Yeah. 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 And uh, it freaking worked because he needed all the defense, every needed. single yeah. ounce. Yeah, yeah, he needed it. That's a that's a big win, though. Massive, um, massive win. But now Dustin's fighting Islam for the belt, right? Yeah, yeah. So we'll see what happens with uh, with him next. I don't know if he'll fight another fight or if he'll fight for the winner of Dustin and Islam. Yeah, yeah. the weight class is stacked. Stacked. There's so a lot crazy. of good fighters. Well, let's let's cut to Islam. So Dana announced three really big fights. Two in. Tony Land, Islam against Dustin, Dustin, and Strickland against Costa. Tony Land in Jersey? Yeah, Newark. Well, not, I mean, it's not Princeton, but like. Newark uh, in June? Yeah, you. In June. You, I remember, uh, that's crazy how you're from Newark. <laughs> <laughs> Worst airport in the yeah, world. a little different if I was from Newark. <laughs> uh, that's the same card? Uh, so, Islam and Dustin are with Strickland and Costa, and then we'll cut to the other one. That's it. After. That'd be a good card. Um, yeah, what's great. the date for that June? Mm, that one's not in June. That's uh, May. Yeah, I believe so. I'm gonna look it up real quick. Cause that be. I think that's June. UFC two hundred two. Three hundred two. Three hundred two. Uh, yeah, it is it's June first. Yeah, and then June twenty ninth <clears throat> is uh, three hundred three. Islam against Dustin's a crazy matchup. Yeah, ha- have they great. fought before? No, he just fought his brother, Habib. Yeah. Be sick if he could pull it off. Yeah, it would be. I mean, I think he has a couple things going from them, him in that fight. Uh, obviously, he has better striking. I think his cardio is much better, and Islam's cardio is not Khabib's cardio. Mm-hmm. Also, Islam's wrestling is not as good as Khabib's, in my opinion. He's he's still very good, but, I mean, I just think Khabib has a little bit, a little bit more of a dominating style. Mm-hmm. Islam likes to strike a little more. Which is great for Dustin. Yeah. I super, super, super doubt he'll strike in the fight, but uh, if he can defend a couple of takedowns, like that gets you pretty, 
it, the gas tank is can get drained. Islam also, yeah, like you were saying, gas tank gets drained. Dustin just built for five rounders. Yeah. Uh, Islam, when was the last five round fight? I mean, he went he fought five Volk, with Volk. Volk. But he, he was tired. He was so who has Islam? Islam won the belt off Charles. Right. Then who did he fight next? I think Volk. What? He's only fought so he's won the up. belt and then fought Volk twice. He had to have fought another fight other than that, right? Who else did he fight? I can't think of anybody. What? Let me see here. Yeah, I guess he didn't, huh? He didn't fight Gaethje or Chandler or anybody. No. What? He beat <laughs> he beat Bobby Green and then beat Charles. What? <laughs> That's crazy, bro. <laughs> That's insane. He beat Volk twice, but yeah. So he's never defended against a 55er? No. Wow. Well, Charles. Oh, well. Didn't defend. Didn't defend it. Yeah. That's crazy. And even that, I think Charles missed weight, right? Uh, what was, no, that was against Justin. Remember? Charles missed weight and uh, then Justin could win, but Charles didn't. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. No, so uh, what's next? Oh, yeah. That, anyways, next next, yeah. next, next, announcement. Strickland against Costa. That'll be fun. It's going to yeah, be a great be, press be conference. <laughs> That'll be, be fun. Great yeah. one. I wonder if those dudes are like, part of me thinks they'll just bro out yeah. before the fight. Like, they're not going to come at each other. Yeah. Like, they're just going to be like, come on, bro. Yeah, yeah, and they're gonna be like, all right, fine. <laughs> I don't know that. I don't think they'll like come at each other. You don't think so? No, I think it doesn't work because they're both kind of the they're both the, the yeah. guys in the weight class that talk. Yeah, and I think that Co- Costa's more like a troll. He's like troll dude, and Strickland's more like you're gay. I'm gonna kill your family. <laughs> yeah, and it's like. You can't really say that to the troll guy. Yeah, it's like Diaz McGregor. Exactly. Yeah. It's like it just doesn't penetrate. No, it doesn't. I don't it won't work. It'll be a good fight though. No, it'll be a good fight. I think it'll be electric to watch. Yeah, Do I'm, I think I'm it, I'm curious to see who will win that. Do I think the technique's gonna be unbelievable? I think it's just gonna be them throwing hands for five rounds. Is Hobbs out fighting with Whitaker? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's dope. in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, that's a good fight. Yeah. Yeah, that's in July, I think. Yeah. In Saudi. Yeah, that'd be a good fight. Yeah, it's a good matchup. That'd be an interesting one. He'll be getting schlepped. Definitely. Yeah, we'll see. But the biggest announcement. Who? But who knows if it's actually happening? Conor McGregor against Michael Chandler, June twenty ninth. Yeah. Timo Borina. Michael Chandler DM me. Did he? Yeah, yeah. After the fight, he was like, uh, he just basically said like, you know, it's easy to be critical, but like, you know, you're the, like, you're the one that steps in there and like. There's a lot to be said for that. And uh, and he was like, yo, hop on the card June 29th. Let's get it. That's nice. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that would be sick. Yeah, that, that would be, be crazy. sick, dude, to fight on that card. Dude, McGregor cards. Kind of almost insane. have to. <laughs> <laughs> it's June 29th. If it was July 29th, yeah. 100% chance I'd be in. Yeah. yeah. You kind of have to get I know. back in the camp. Well, this is, this is the thing is, I would be fine to do that, but I'm freaking going to be in Alaska for like 10 days. In May? Yeah. Yeah, the 7th yeah. through through when I whenever I'm done, but who knows it it could very likely be pushed back. True. <laughs> if it's pushed back a month, I'm I'm yeah. I'm in there, bro. Yeah. yeah. We'll see though. Gregor card would be crazy. That would be That fight's going to be insane. Yeah. Chandler McGregor, that's going to be crazy. Bro. I wonder how McGregor is actually going to look in that fight. Yeah, we'll see. He hasn't fought in a while. It's been like three years. This is probably his longest layoff of all time of ever. Well, he fought uh, yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal. That's true. Not too long ago. That's true. Yeah. And uh, well, lost. kind of. He was alive. Oh, he was end. still alive. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He didn't. He 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 maybe lost. He technically maybe lost the round. He got stabbed like seventeen times, but um, yeah, he didn't die. No. Yeah. So we'll see. Return of Knox. What was his name? Was <laughs> something Knox. Yeah, I want to see Cutter. Bobby back, Knox. Bro. What was his name? It was Knox. Knox yeah, but what yeah. was his what um, was his full name? It was something Knox. <laughs> no, no, there was nothing before. It was it. just Knox. I think it was just Knox. <laughs> <laughs> when Knox is on the job, it's over, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what a great movie. Oh, that was a good movie. <laughs> 
Here's a lesson for you. Don't let no one get this close. <laughs> <laughs> Great movie. It's a good accent. It's impressed by that. Thank you. What's the next? Oh, that was the next fight announcement. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know of any others. Some good ones coming up. Yeah, there are. There are some good ones. Good ones coming up for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. UFC is still killing it. It's a Always. big year. Always, yeah. Big year for UFC. Mm-hmm. Um, do we talk about the, the plane? No. <laughs> okay. Let's <laughs> talk about how you had no idea until we were literally inside. Yeah, we can talk about it briefly. So we took, the, we took the PJ back from Vegas to State College, which was dope. And uh, every single person knew, aside from our co-host here, uh, and he thought we were going to be late for our commercial flight. And uh, stressing, he was. And I don't know if it would have been possible to realize any later than when he realized. <laughs> like he thought we were still making commercial flight. We're out on the runway, surrounded by private surrounded jets. by private jets, and he's thinking we're still headed to this commercial flight. I was Dang, like, this is a weird way to get to Terminal 3. Yeah, I was like, bro, all right, everybody get out the car. And he was like, what? I'm like, we're 10 feet away from the jet. <laughs> and he he just then realized that we were, that's what we were taking home. And he almost cried. <laughs> Dude, when I, like, when I, we, when we pulled up to that gate to like go in the, into the entrance, I'm like, oh my God, we're going to make the flight because we're going to just cut across everything. <laughs> That's what was going through my head. That's oh, we're going to take the jet yeah. and drive it over to the flight. <laughs> Dude, yeah, tell me what you were thinking. Dude, that entire time I had absolutely no idea what was going on. Yeah. How did you not realize when we pulled into the private airport? I didn't know what it parking was. Lot? I did not know what it was. I'm sorry, man. Did I, you think those were normal flights? Yes. Just, there were just many. <laughs> just I, Dude, I had no idea like, what was going on. like, why are these planes so tiny? Oh, dude, when we went to stop like, for well, gas. Ronan, that's a jet. <laughs> when we went to stop for gas, I wish you could have seen me in the back of the car. I was talking to coach. I'm like, what the hell are we doing? We're not even going to come Bro, close. you were so stressed in <laughs> full dad mode, too. Yeah, he was freaking out, Came trying in. to get everybody's bags in the car. Yeah. Yo, I, I was, like, getting uh, ready, and Ronan's like, hey, can I put your bag in the, in this, in the Suburban? And I was like, <laughs> you want? Like, fully dressed, glasses on, comes in. That bag ready? I'm like, yes, dad. <laughs> yeah, right. like, uh, it was so funny. <laughs> I'm so, never just running around cleaning everything up. So funny to see his reaction. <laughs> Were you more excited about flying on the private jet or that we didn't actually miss our flight? Yeah, what were you more excited about? <laughs> oh, that we didn't miss our flight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, oh, we're almost late to this too. <laughs> I'm like, no, we're five minutes early. They're like, cool, that's great. You guys are taking a private jet, but I still need to make this. So. <laughs> and I left my AirPod. Uh, I was, yeah, out of all, out of all of that. For the amount of time that you were up and walking around, that's I left. Wild. I left my sleep mask. I left my AirPod. But it How was you it your was sleep mask and an AirPod? Dude, I was, like I said, I was Razzle. moving. I was moving that morning. I left my AirPod, AirPods at the last fight, and it's the last time I ever had AirPods. So... Just like yeah. that's it for me. I'm calling it. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, that was that was really that was so nice to. Yeah, that was really really cool. Back. It was fun. Um, what are you gonna do now? I probably just sail off into the sunset. Call it good. Undefeated, undisputed. <laughs> <laughs> we we should talk about that. All right, the smoothest shirt removal in UFC history, Bo yeah. Nickel. You see that? Yeah, I didn't notice it firsthand, but looking back. It was that's pretty dang smooth because I always go two hands and it doesn't look like that. Yeah, Phew. gotta be ready to go. Well, you've yeah. done it in every other fight. Well, I do it every night. So <laughs> <laughs> you think that's good? You see me at night. <laughs> yeah, I can. Uh, I can do tops and bottoms very similarly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that he can. You'd be surprised how I do it too. Use my toes. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's sinking right now. Wow. Just imagine. How does that work? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I got, it's good to get recognized by, you know, the all-time GOAT, um, the all-time fighting GOAT, Chael P., Uncle Chael, 
never lost a round sonnen um for you know my all-time great standing as uh the best shirt remover there is so yeah it feels good from one goat to another to be recognized that's good yeah yeah so i don't know i don't know what else is there what else is there what do i do next do it again Sure, I'll do it again. <laughs> 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 All right, you got me. Um, <laughs> what's that? Uh, I'm retired. <laughs> you know it. Mr. Scarn, it's the president. Well, I don't know if you saw that Clean they... up on aisle five. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you saw, but they inducted Chael and Anderson's fight into the Hall of Fame. Yeah, that was sick. Anderson's hopeful wasn't there. It was just Chael. <laughs> Really? Nah, it was that fight was really great because of Chael, though. Bro, that fight. But like Silva's great, but the reason that fight was as good as it was was because of Chael. He's he built that. He sold it. He did everything. And he won the fight technically, if you think about it, because while he did get submitted in the fifth, that he just lost that round. True. It was like the old Olympic. So rules. it was four to one. He did win the fight. Um, if my memory serves me correctly. Um, yeah, that's why he's undefeated, undisputed. Yeah, so Sugar Sean. Chael also made a good point. Um, everybody's been calling me a three-time national champion. You know, I won 2017, 2018, 2019. But he did not, I did never wrestle him. So, you so can I really call myself a national champ, like a champion? I don't know. I don't think I can. I, I think all three of those... Um, titles have an asterisk, an asterisk. Yeah, you're making some really good points here. I don't really know how to dispute. Yeah, I never, I never competed against him, so I don't know. I can't really call myself that. But um, it was also like seven years ago. So yeah, what can you do? I'm gonna talk to him so we can we can get yeah, on the well, pod. I, yeah, let's see if I can clear that up. What well, weight uh, did he wrestle? I don't know. Let's call it 84, 97, <laughs> <laughs> which was my weight. <laughs> <laughs> Call him up on my personal phone. No, I'm I'm trying to set up pod with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're that's crazy. You guys haven't done that yet. I feel like he posts you like. Yeah, we're working on it. I'm gonna that's go fun. out to Oregon and uh, do a camp and uh, hop on. Wait, where does he live? Um, the mean streets of Westland, Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, you, like you there were years <laughs> where my father didn't make a hundred grand, or barely made a hundred grand. <laughs> now I live next to a set of twins For their 16th birthday They got a Mercedes They had to share that car You know what that was like Taking turns driving that Unbelievable <laughs> When I was a kid one time I was walking down the street Saw a guy Take a piece of gum out of his mouth Just throw it on the ground <laughs> Right in front of me That's the stuff didn't I even, to see every day Didn't even care Oh <laughs> uh, yeah is the best. Yeah. I think that the craziest part about this entire trip is that coach got Chris Pratt's number and no one else did. <laughs> yeah, and that's not true. <laughs> yeah. No, it is. No. It, no, it's not. Yes. No. How is it? He sent him a picture? I I don't no. He he said I don't know. I, I don't know the full story, but he did get Chris Pratt's number. No, he did not. Honestly, Rosa wasn't phased by Chris Pratt. <laughs> Who? Barbosa. No, I didn't care. He was just like, <laughs> 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 You're like, let's take a picture. My son loves you. He takes pictures. Like, you want it? I'll say, I'll text it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them too. You want this picture? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I'm like expecting get him because he's the coach to ask for a group shot of us, and. Uh, he, like then he's just like, hey Chris, let's get a picture. And he's just like goes in the corner and just you know, like <laughs> coach. And then he, <laughs> when Chris left, coach was like, yeah, I was gonna ask for a group photo. And I was like, and then you just asked for yourself. And he was like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. He was so so funny this week, bro. Uh, on another level, bro. Yes. Yeah, no, he's great to have around. He's the best. He stays undefeated. Yeah, yeah. No, we have a great crew. We we're missing a couple couple guys, but uh, it's all good. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm starting to really like the dice game. It's a good game. Yeah, yeah. You f you found your your stride. Yeah, I just have to focus on reading people instead of my dice. Yeah, that's and what then you, it's easy. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. You gotta, wa- you gotta watch more than, mm-hmm. uh, think about the numbers. Yeah. It was fun. <laughs> I will say someone that we did miss, unfortunately, that I was slightly on the happy side that wasn't there was Nolf because oh, I, I was like, lost, where are you going? I would have lost way more money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, because you guys would have yeah. went and played. Oh, hundred percent. He yeah. always gets me, man. Yeah. Like, like gets you to that. go play at the casino. Oh yeah. Oh, that's that's hilarious. Every time. <laughs> We came out on top this week. Yeah, you only played one. You didn't play any other than the one we did, right? No. You went? You went? Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, what are you trying to get out of there so bad? <laughs> he was like, let's go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm even. Like, Sprint. Yeah, we should have put all our money on Black 24. Dude, you know what's crazy? Before this trip, my buddy Dean, he hit, first time we ever went to the casino first together. First off, is this like a, a buddy buddy, or is this like a somebody that you... His car friend that is actually like he doesn't really know you. No, no, no. he's my, he's my boy. He actually, is your friend. He's my boy so from Dean high school. Dean sounded like a like a made up. Yeah, name. I was like, that's, no, a, no, that's no. a made up name. No, that's not Dean, Dean Castellas played across at or yeah, played across. All at right, now I definitely don't believe. It. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, anyway, first time we ever go to the casino, we're both hammering roulette. Oh, I thought I you were like, <laughs> We're both hammering. Really stretch that word out. <laughs> hammering roulette. Eventually, we we're, we're both up like. 600 bucks. Oh, mm-hmm. I thought you were going to say like $6. <laughs> Hammer or that. We're both up $6. <laughs> and um, we're, you know, once you start making money, it's like, all right, you're up. Like, I'm going to play inside. Start putting some money on some numbers, of course. We're both putting numbers. Dealer's about to spin the, uh, he spins the wheel, about to go like this. He goes, Brian Dawkins throws like 50 bucks on black 20. <laughs> Drills it. <laughs> Everyone's and it was the sad part was it was me him and this one other guy that was just sitting with us and we start jumping all around <laughs> of like, course right like a movie scene like what did he make fifteen hundred yeah that's not bad yeah yeah take that actually it might be like eighteen hundred I don't remember how much it ended up being that's funny but then we played a little bit more and you know lost it all well I, I did <laughs> <laughs> I was up like to seven hundred bucks lost five hundred uh, happens yeah that's why we get out of there yep. That is. Um, it's pretty much it, boys. That's get- it. Well, it was a good week. It's been real. Last podcast ever. Um, <laughs> make sure you guys tune in, like, and subscribe, and there's not going to be any more. So just go watch the old ones. Over and over and over again. Goodbye forever. <laughs>